Hello viewers, uh, welcome to yet another video on uh, Java based on the memory management. So today we will discuss how the memory management happens in Java. So for you need to understand the memory management as well as the garbage collection in Java, you need to know few of the concepts in Java like the heap memory, what is the non-heap memory, the memory pool as well as the memory manager. So let us start by one by one. So first of all, what is a heap memory? Heap memory is a runtime data area where JVM allocates memory for all the arrays as well as the instances. So rightly it is said in the JVM internals, it is where all the objects are created at the start of the program execution by the new operator, it allocates a memory to all of the objects. Next, what is a non-heap memory? It is nothing but a logical part of the heap and stores per class structures. It may be fixed or variable and it need not be contiguous. Means uh, non-heap memory may be a method area as discussed in the JVM internals. Like it stores the per class structures. Per class structures means what the code data, the method data, the class variables and other field data which are required for the program execution those are stored in this non-heap memory. Now remember this heap memory and non-heap memory may be fixed or variable and it need not be contiguous in both of these cases. Next is what is a memory pool? A memory pool is an area that JVM manages internally during program execution. It may be added or removed during program execution. In JVM internals we have seen five memory pools in detail that is the Java stacks, native method stacks, the heap memory, the program counter registers. So those are the memory pools that are required for program execution. It may be added or removed at any time during program execution by the JVM. Next is a memory manager. Memory manager manages one or more memory pools during execution. For example, in this case, GC may be the garbage the collector, the garbage collector basically is a memory manager which manages the memory internally and this is under the control of JVM. Next, we need to see what is GC actually. GC stands for garbage collection. Like human beings are very conscious about their health, their fitness and so in Java, Java is very conscious about its memory. If there is any memory which is or object which is unallocated it needs to be uh, freed as soon as possible so for that we do memory management in java and for that java has a garbage collector which is gc so as it is rightly said gc is the way by which jvm reclaims the memory by objects that are no longer referenced obviously if some object which is not referenced or uh, its instance may not be used further in the program may be deallocated otherwise it will compile up the space in the heap and may increase the heap size and may eventually may not provide space for other objects to run in the program execution so that's why GC comes into picture now there are two virtual machines or the JVMs that are available in Oracle we have the hotspot JVM and for IBM, we have the WebSphere virtual machine. So these are the two JVMs that are available. So we will be talking about the Oracle Hotspot VM and how the garbage collection happens in that. So let's have a look on that. Now, what are these objects that the uh, GC is collecting for? Now, these objects in Hotspot VM may be short-lived objects and long-lived objects. Short-lived objects will not be for a long period of time. It may be like uh, iterators or local variables which are defined inside the methods, not the global ones which are outside the class. And long-lived objects like persistent objects, you can say the global variables and other static variables and constants which are used throughout the program. So these are the two objects you might be guessing what are these objects that uh, GC is dealing with. So these are the two objects that is short-lived objects as well as the long-lived objects. Now 
in hotspot vm what happens is there is a generational gc which is happening every now and then now what is a generational gc generational gc is a gc in which the objects are classified under various generations based upon their time of creation and allocation to the memory and these objects are then assigned to these memory pools like we have discussed here that is the method area java stacks native method stacks pc registers heap etc so these objects are classified under generations and are updated frequently and if uh, the time persists or if some the memory gets full then a minor gc would occur i will discuss what is minor gc as well as major gc so when a minor gc occurs it frees up the memory for other objects that needs to be allocated so this is what the generational gc is all about now let us understand the garbage collection in hotspot vm so in hotspot vm there are some spaces called as the eden space the tenured space and the perm gen that is the permanent generation now these are the generations that are seen in the hotspot vm so what happens is that uh, this young gc or the it is also called as the nursery gc young gc or the nursery in fact and the old gc there are two types of gcs that is young gc as well as the old gc now this young gc in hotspot vm has two fields that is it has one eden space and two survivor spaces now these two are the spaces which are managed by the young gc now whenever some object creation or memory allocation happens during program execution in uh, a code piece of code at that time whatever newly created objects are initially stored in this eden space and whenever these objects are created and stored in this eden space many of the objects die at that instance and when a minor gc is run on this eden space it may move to any of these survivor spaces it's not dependent on the user it's jvm dependent the entire gc operation works upon the uh, jvm it's fully under the control of jvm so whenever newly created objects fall into the eden space they may not live longer period of time and whenever a minor gc happens it may move to one of this survivor spaces now after the uh, objects which are in the long run which stay for a long period of time in the survivor spaces they may move to the tenured spaces tenured spaces are the spaces in which objects find their future for the uh, real life uh, in the long run they will be in the tenured space means for permanent generation the tenured objects will be reflective now whenever live objects are there in the tenured uh, space a major gc would occur why a major gc would occur because many of these objects in the tenured space are live means they may be requiring for uh, real time uh, applications so a major gc not a big one but a small fraction of objects may be removed from this tenured spaces and the objects which survive the tenured spaces may be moving to the permanent generation this permanent generation is a reflective or it can see the replica what the virtual machine has objects what the virtual machine has this permanent generation will contain all those objects Uh, which the virtual machine will be having in the future or for some other instance the objects which are currently in the permanent generation that will be stored in the virtual machine so uh, this is the uh, working of the generational gc and uh, so let us see some questions how these objects and garbage collection is done so from uh, where the garbage is collected the garbage is usually collected from the heap memory since heap is the memory where all the objects are allocated and is required for reference so obviously the garbage is collected from the heap memory when does the garbage collector run 
there is no guarantee that when would be the garbage collector be running so it fully depends upon the jvm jvm decides when to run that if you uh, fires a request to the uh, jvm that i want to run a gc right now it cannot be guaranteed that it will be running in next uh, few minutes or few seconds so it's internally dependent on the jvm it's on jvm students and not on user students next is how does it work it works by means of a mark and sweep algorithm it is called as the mark sweep compact uh, method is there by which the objects are garbage collected so it works basically like you have to select these objects which you want to uh, delete or which you want to free from the memory and it will sweep out those objects from the memory and it will allocate space for any new objects can we force the garbage collection we cannot force the garbage collection it happens uh, for a while or for a few seconds and we can uh, force not force actually we can call the garbage collection by using system dot gc this is the method which invokes the system to run the garbage collection and it has reference to a class called as runtime dot get runtime dot gc so you can use any of this uh, methods for doing the garbage collection so in turn it will call the runtime class and from runtime class it will call the gc so let us see one programming example based on how this uh, garbage collection is done this is a, a class called as the garbage truck which has the public identifier this is the main method which has the return type as void and which is also a uh, static and it is of the public keyword next we create an object of the string buffer class and it has one object called as hello now we print this object it will print this object in its uh, print ln now this has a reference till now in the program now for this we'll draw a diagram based on the heap memory so this is the heap and this statement that is string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer hello will create a object called as hello object called as sb containing a hello has as its content so this has hello in it and this is sb and this is the object memory inside this heap memory so till now this object sb has a reference inside the heap memory now we will consider that sb is equal to null now we have assigned this sb as a null means we are no longer referring this sb inside the heap memory and so we will draw this is the 
heap memory and this is the hello content and now we denote it by a dotted line means this link which was there earlier has been broken and it is been now reference to null this is the object memory so basically gc happens whenever object is uh, not required or it's not uh, unreferenced so this is the java memory management tutorial in detail hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video